This is a Lego brick. I love Lego. Not a lot of money though. So today I thought what would be fun is look at 10 Lego sets I always wanted as a kid but was never able to get either because of their price. They were discontinued really quickly. Never getting to see them in stores or other things that haven't affected on me getting them. Now, this is a purely opinionated list, and tell me down below what Lego sets you wanted when you were a kid, and that you never got, or, you know, still looking for. And also, uh, the rule for this is that only one set, like, per theme, so only one Ninjago or one Star Wars. Anyway, let's get to number 10. Bikini Bottoms Undersea Party. In my opinion, this is the strongest set to represent Spongebob's house, and especially Squidward's house, and I always liked the little party vibe that this set gave off. Um, it's always been one I really wanted, but uh, I never really got it, because I've never really gotten many of the Spongebob sets. So, number 9. Anti-Matter's Hideout from LEGO Ultra Agents. Man, I should have gotten more sets from this theme. This theme was awesome, but... Of all of them, Antimatter's Hideout is probably my favorite. I don't know what it is about this one, but this one always spoke to me. Maybe it's because I like like a oil rig aesthetic. But yeah, I really like this. Uh, like how it's built, how it's structured. I just think it's a cool one. All right, now for number eight, Cragger's Command Ship from Chima. Yes, a Chima set, but honestly, this is my favorite one. I've always liked this boat aesthetic. I think it's a really nice build. I love the minifigures in it. But yeah, this one I really like. This is the one that sticks out to me the most out of all the Chima sets. Now to number 9. The Steven Spielberg movie set. You know, I remember when I was younger, I had like a book that went into the history of like Lego. And I saw this set and I was like, man, that looks like such an awesome set to have. Because, you know, I kind of like making movie-like stuff and... You know, like, with videos and all, that's kind of what represents that. But I always liked this set just for that feel, and I thought the camera looked great cool. Even though, you know, it's not a very great camera for filming. I still like to own the collector's item, but yeah, I like this set. Okay, so number seven. Toy Story 3's Western Train Chase. I love Toy Story sets. I like steam engines. Perfect combination of both. It had every character from the movie. I still don't have a ham and a rack, so I really wish I had those. Um, I really like how the build is. I love the train build. Um, the steam engine looks nice. The caboose is great. And like the little Bane car, I love that. Overall, just a set I really want. Number five. Metal Beard Sea Cow from the Lego movie. Oh, man, this pirate ship is just so cool to me for some reason also it was the first time that double decker couch was released in a set but yeah i really love this pirate build i've always liked pirate ships i think they did a great job on this design and it really fits with the other astounding lego movie sets number four lego monster fighters haunted house man this haunted house just looks great the interior is nice it's just a great set to get Lord Vampire in, and honestly, I just really want a Monster Fighter set, and I would have settled for any, but this is the one I chose because, in my opinion, this one's got the nicest inter exterior, the strongest build, and I just like the general monster hangout vibe it gives. Number three, Jabba's Palace from Star Wars. Oh my god, I love this set. I think it's just a really nice looking set. I really like the Jabba figure. I just really like the aesthetic and theme of this set. That It always was one I wanted. Too bad it got discontinued because of, I think, some issue. I don't really know what it is, so I'm not going to get into it. But, yeah. Anyway, number two. The Daily Bugle Showdown. Okay, this set's pretty awesome. Well, not 100% accurate to the Daily Bugle. It's based off of, I think, the play thing. I think it really works pretty well. And honestly, even as like a display piece for the Daily Bugle, I still think it works pretty well. Because I just think it looks really cool. And plus, it's got an exclusive figure of Dr. Doom. And 
Honestly, I just wish more Spider-Man sets were just scenery-based and not, you know, um... Uh, what's the word? Mech or vehicle-based. Anyway, number one, the big one of them all. The Fire Temple from Lego Ninja Go. Oh my god, I love this set so much. I love the build of the Fire Temple. I love the dragon. I think both of these elements really made this set for me when I was younger, and I really wanted it so much, but uh, obviously I never got it. And also the minifigures are great too, as we got Samokai, Cruncha, Garmadon, Kai, Woo, you know. It's just a great set to me, and I really wish I had it, but eh, it was not meant to be. But still, it's a one day, I'll hope I get it. I'd like to thank you all for watching this list. I had a lot of fun looking back at my childhood desires that I could never get. And also, if you guys want to tell me what Lego sets you didn't have as a kid that you always wanted, comment down below. Um, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the next video as... Well, this isn't Matt, but Anthony and Matt will be coming back to the channel starting March 5th with the premiere of Matt's Lego Adventures Season 2, Episode 1, The Wand. Stay tuned for that, and I'm really excited for you all to be there. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.